Okay, the hike goes as far as this isolated beach in Congor Bay and uh, then it turns inland. So now you know where you are. Today we have some wonderful tourist family hiking with us. It's a beautiful day in Barbados. Uh, as you can see, there's a... Um, we're actually gonna go up there now, so I'll show you where we have to go because we're going to leave this trail. This trail that we're on goes all the way to Bath, but we're actually going to go inland up into the jungle and there is no trail. It doesn't seem as though the people do this anymore. Wait, maybe we can do it from over. This part of the hike proved a little challenging because the uh, trail is gone and as you can see she's got leaves sticking to her and uh, it's been hard going up to now but these these have the right adventurous spirit and as you can see it's a bit easier walking from here now I'm not saying that everything is over and it's going to be perfect all the way but it certainly automatically gets easier the farther up we go because it's a natural trail the middle house Mill House is one of the scenic stops on our uh, on our eight mile monkey jump hike. So if you feel fit and you think the six miles is not enough, you can book the eight miles and we'll wait for you. We'll wait for you. We want you to enjoy your hike and providing we don't have anything else to do that day, you can enjoy it as long as you want. Well, I'm sure you've seen this scenery before and it hasn't changed much in the last few years and uh, we're here on an 8 mile monkey jump hike which we don't usually do and we have encountered a little bit of bush but not much so far and uh, we just want you to observe with us the various things that we're going to see along the hike so that you can make an informed decision when booking your hike. Now here is the breadfruits. As you can see, they're small, too small to eat right now but one tree bears an incredible number of breadfruits and over here we have the papaw or the papaya tree as they call it in Hawaii which bears a very sweet and nice fruit now over here on the left hand side we have the shaddock which grows to an incredible size it's like a grapefruit but much bigger than a grapefruit and uh, in some cases it can be more bitter but they use it they put some sugar and they make it into ice cream there you can see them hanging up in the tree that's not as big as they get but that's a fairly big one and uh, we're now coming down where it joins the trail of the standard six mile monkey jump we're reaching the crossroads here in a minute for uh, tourists who've hiked with me before and fans of my YouTube channel you will be appalled at the destruction that has taken place as a result of the caterpillar huge uh, trees, trunks murdered split and broken up in a most atrocious manner not just but brutalized and uh, it has completely spoilt the first part of the jungle trek the destruction that they are doing I'm not sure why but it is possible that they're trying to make a road to come up through here at some point it's not really too obvious at this part but I will highlight further up where the trees have been brutally murdered now in the distance you can see the water authorities pumping station 
where they pump up Barbados water from the underground streams and you can also see over here on the right side the large pipe through which the water gets piped this pipe has got to be at least two or three hundred years old they don't make them like this anymore they don't have any more pipes like this all the pipes I see them using are made of plastic, blue plastic if I get an opportunity to see one along the hike I'll put it on the video for you now Barbados gets all its water from underground streams and here we've reached the well hopefully you can hear the water flowing a hundred or two hundred feet below right behind this door our jungle habitat has been destroyed by giant earth moving machinery it's happening all over the world deforestation deforestation is occurring at an alarming rate please do agitate sign all petitions call your congressman do whatever needs to be done to stop the rot from happening whole trees have been uprooted and this is only the second hike that I'm doing since this tragedy occurred but the last one the tourists they were very shy of cameras so I have promised to not take any pictures on their hike and uh, as you can see the brutal murder of the trees these trees have been brutalized look what has been done to this giant stump it hasn't simply been cut it's been torn asunder can you imagine how painful that is for a tree to see mankind destroying them in this way there is, there is much more humane ways to execute trees far less people and it is very sad that such disrespect in 2015 can still exist for God's creation now look at how this tree has been brutalized and this one over here and this one specifically up here a giant tree that's older much older than the people who cut it down or rather tore it from the earth and uh, it's a great disappointment and with a heavy heart that nature hikers have to endure this desecration of the environment when attempting to do a monkey jump hike here is more of the jungle destroyed in an ungodly manner that the trees big trees that want shade in my tourists and kept them cool as they did this part of the hike now if they turn it into a road what benefit will it be to anybody there was absolutely no need to do this and we will wait to see what happens in the future now fortunately for us the destruction went straight ahead whereas we are about to turn right into the virgin trail as you can see I don't know how far the destruction goes or what they plan to do with it but as we turn right here we are going in what used to be the older jungle and uh, this one is still pretty much as it was so as you see what's coming now you can uh, go back and look at what, it, what you saw before and just remember it used to be all like this before the big machines of man came through and destroyed it yes tourists are fascinated tourists are fascinated by these giant crabs calling can I zoom in on it while it walks 
Yeah, there it goes. I think we've taken pictures of one before, but it's a rare opportunity when you get them actually walking in the open, such as this fella is doing. So we want to maximize this. Hopefully he will come out into a clearing. Right, there you can see his feelers, his antlers that guide his direction and his head, which is very small compared to everything else. Yeah, that's a good picture of him there, isn't it? That kind of looks like the face of an old man. If you look from this angle over here. And, uh, yeah. Now we're going to keep going in the jungle here. Yeah. Here we are. Monkey jump is always a popular hike and uh, today I have my tourists are doing easily they're accustomed to serious jungle hiking so this is no problem at all for them and uh, as you can see the speed with which they're climbing the hike it just goes to show that the 8 mile was the right choice <coughs> the 8 mile was the right choice for sure there you go nice. this almond tree has just been brutally cut down and we wanted you to see the almonds because you don't really know that the almonds that you buy in the supermarket in a tin they actually grow on a tree did you know that there is the almonds let me see if I can actually zoom in on the almonds look there is an almond that's sort of a ovalish shape that's an almond there <laughs> 